Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can publish your changes from your Visual Studio code into your GitHub repository. So you can see on the right hand side is my repo here. I'm under the main branch here and on the left hand side, I have my Visual Studio. It's also connected to the main branch here. So I've already cloned it. If you want to see a clone, how to clone your repo into your Visual Studio code, I got another video for it. I'll leave the link to that video on the description of this particular video as well so nevertheless let's go ahead and make some changes let's say i'm gonna add um, a new uh, file here maybe call hello.c like this it's a c file here and i'm gonna copy a program which i've already prepared oh, a few minutes ago here and i'm just gonna paste it in here and you can see that next to the hello c there's this u u means untrack which means it's a new file that has been added but it's not in your stage, your git stage or on your repo itself. So at this point, uh, although you press control S to save it, uh, it's only saved locally on your computer here. I'm going to go ahead and make some modification as well. Like for example, this one here, um, maybe I'm going to say one, two, three, hello, like that. Hello, like that and hit enter and you're going to press control S and you can see as soon as you do that and M come next to it here. M means it's modified. Uh, so again, it's all safe locally on your uh, desktop or on your on your Linux box here. So another thing I want to do is that I've got a file here. It's a C file. I'm going to go ahead and delete this file here. Delete like that. And then move to recycle bin here. And you can see it's gone from my branch here. But nevertheless, it's visible on your source control. So now you have made all the changes, written all your programs, right? And you're going to now we're going to try to push it. I'm going to explain to you how you can do it. So you go to this icon here. This icon is called source control. Click on it. You'll see all the changes that you have made so far. They're under the folder or the branch called changes here. So let's say, for example, the, the process is this. You make those changes. These changes are visible. This is locally saved changes here. If you hit commit here, what the system does or the Visual Studio does is that it moves it to the staging area and then commits it. And then after that, syncs it or push it to the uh, repo. That's the process if you click on it. So if you want to control the stage, what you can do is let's say I only want to do, say, um, uh, put the hello program here. You click on the plus here. It moves to the staging area. When you move to the staging area, it means that uh, these are the these are the changes that I want to push in my next commit and sync, right? So that's what this means here. Uh, if you want to push everything from changes, like well, if you want to push single file, you just click on this plus here, like what I did just now. Like like for example, this one, you push it here. Now it goes to staging. But if you want to stage, I'm going to move this back to changes here and this back to changes here minus. If you want to move everything to staging area, you just click the plus next to the staging here, and everything get moved back, right? I'm going to move it back here and move it back here. So you got full control. So the difference between stage changes and changes is this. Both of them are safe locally on your computer. All, this, all the changes that you're making. However, stage changes are ready to go out. So you will see that being apparent when you hit commit here in the next few bit here. So I'm going to add this one into the staging here. And then after that, let's say I'm ready to do it. But I'm not ready to push this delete quite yet. So if I hit commit. It'll give you a chance to enter uh, a few more details about your commit. Let's say uh, commit changes, whatever you want to call it, and click on this accept the commit message here. And here you're going to save it. So those log has been captured now. As you can see, the changes are not pu quite pushed yet at this point. You're just committing those changes here. Now to actually push those stage changes, you go here and you push. Click on never here. And then after that, you click on sync. Now, when you say sync, you are trying to push all the changes that was on the stage uh, location there. So now uh, the, everything has been pushed out except your changes, which is the removal of this file, is still uh, not been pushed into your GitHub repository. Now, if you go back to your GitHub repository and refresh the screen, you will see the new program that you have actually pushed in or committed a few minutes ago. So, but your ABC programs are still there because it's not committed yet or rather not pushed quite yet. 